Mm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So based on the title, you already know what this video is about. So first I'm going to show you guys how we prep the placenta to avoid it from smelling while waiting for the cord to fall off. So first we rinse the placenta with water to get as much of the blood and blood clots off as possible. Then I applied my herb mixture at the bottom and then placed the placenta on top of it. Then I dropped a few drops of essential oils and that included lemongrass, rosemary, and lavender. I watched a few videos on how others did this, but I decided to use both essential oils and dry herbs. The dry herb mixture you're seeing right now is a mixture of rosemary, thyme, spearmint, and basil, as well as chamomile. This mixture smelled very fragrant and would have been enough by itself but me being extra at the moment, I decided to also add rose petals and lavender flowers. So our entire room was just smelling very fragrant, very aromatic, because these dry herbs were, like I said, very fragrant. We're also going to be adding dry, um, sea salt, but we're going to do that on the second day because the sea salt is to help dry up the placenta itself, and I wanted the baby to get as much from the placenta as possible before adding anything to help dry it up. So that is about it on how we prep the placenta. In the next few clips, you're gonna see the process of the cord drying up and the placenta falling off. If you're thinking about doing a lotus bird but concerned about it smelling, just use a lot of fragrant herbs and you will have no issue. So this is day two of our lotus bird. And look how much this middle part has already dried up because it's more exposed to air. So right in here just has a little bit more drying to do. And then of course the cord closer to his navel which is already drying up. Today we're actually going to add sea salt to help the drying process. I didn't want to add it on the first day because I wanted, I wanted him to just continue to get everything possible from the placenta. So last night, as you see, well, as you saw in the previous clip, we only added the herbs and essential oils, which this smells so, it smells so good. <laughs> and he's been so peaceful. He pretty much slept throughout the night. Look how much the cord has already dried. This is literally just, he was born literally yesterday and the cord is already pretty much dried. Um, I forgot to record us changing this, but all we did was take out the gauze and change the fabric. And we laid, this is actually our under pad that we cut. And we laid more fresh herbs, sea salt, and we placed the placenta. And then we put more sea salt and fresh herbs on top. It's already so dry. This is literally just one day, so progress is being made. Today is day three of this lotus bird and that cord is going to fall off at any moment. Probably, if not today, I'm thinking tomorrow. So last night, all I did was add some more essential oils to the placenta on top of the herbs. But today, I'm going to do a full change again in terms of changing the herbs and the... <sighs> It's me. And the padding. But so far, so good. So, day five, and the cord is finally off. So, now we're going to bury the, well, plant the placenta um, 
What are we doing here? With a tree. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna bury it under a tree. We'll plant a tree on top of the placenta. That makes more sense, right? Mm -hmm. Cut off. So it's now for just his navel to heal. And everything is all dried up. And of course the placenta is buried under all of these herbs. So we're just going to take it out. Dig a hole. Put the placenta in. And then plant the tree on top of it. And I will show you guys when we're doing that. Which would probably be... Naming ceremony. Um, on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So what we're going to do with the placenta is bury it by planting a tree on top of it. Um, I'm going to buy an avocado tree from the market and we're going to plant it in the yard, in my grandmother's yard. So yeah, he's finally free of it. This was an amazing experience, I'm not going to lie. However, I am happy it has finally fallen off because it's so much easier to maneuver him. So we just had our little name in ceremony and now we're about to plant the placenta. Right here, still covered in herbs. Ashay. The strength and powers guidance from the ancestor, the eye and the eye, forever more and more. Enough strength and power and knowledge and wisdom as we continue to grow in this Amagidia. Mind how you um, take it out? Ain't all the same dirt? No. No, that's what this will come out when you move it for each other. Oh. So then I do it to come to this one. Babylon for too long. So we just planted the placenta under an avocado tree. The clip you just saw was that happening. It's late, but it's not midnight, so you know it's still Saturday, the seventh day. We did everything today. His name ceremony. 
and planting the placenta so everything is complete. So yeah, it's been a great experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing clips of my um, labor and delivery process and even though I wasn't able to show everything that I wanted to, I hope you enjoyed what I was able to share and you guys will see me in my next video. Peace. So this is baby's navel all healed up. No complications, no issues, no infections. A healthy, successful lotus birth. So if you want to try a lotus birth but been having second thoughts or are you scared to do so, give it a try. It was an amazing experience and it's something that I will do again. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me wrap this up before he starts to cry. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe and support me. And you guys will see me in my next video. Peace. And you deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect. And it's the magic. And everything you do is an honor.